the James Holden S69s, or perhaps better known as B12s, compared with a brief history. We'll be looking at the Hornby B12 model that arrived with me in March 2022, but before we do, let's have a close look at my original Hornby B12 that arrived with me back in 1985. That's 37 years ago. nine in LLER green has always been a favourite. Her motor is an X04 and she must have run dozens of actual miles since I've had her. As you will see she still performs well today. True she's had a bit of a life and has some marks on her bodywork where I think bad oil like 3 in 1 had splashed up on the inside causing deterioration in colour. But overall considering her age she's a lovely loco and I'd never part with her. She is teamed up here with some of the lovely Hornby Alanio Teaks and handles them easily. We now move to R3545 Hornby B12 in early British Railways livery. Clearly many upgrades over the much older model. Running qualities are now great after some lubrication and actually reducing the amount of thick grease in the motor bearings and replacing with some finer has reduced the current drawn. I was going to team her up with some prototypical plums and custard coaches, but those Alany Artiques are just too lovely, so here she is with them. Perhaps there was still a few hanging on in the early days of BR. These models are B12 Mark III. And it may interest viewers to know that when Holden initially designed his S69 class for the Great Central Railway, they looked very different to the B12s we currently know. I am delighted that the Great Eastern Railway Society has granted me permission to show you some of their photos from their excellent website. In this photo we see S69 B12 class number 1500, seen in original condition. Note the firebox and the decorative valances over the driving wheels. Next we have a close up on 1551. Now we have 8578 in Alan Niar days. She has become a B12 Mark III. Finally we have a photo of 61573 in BR livery, one of 72 that entered service with Bridge Rail. The rebuilds to Mark III started in 1932. During World War II a number of B12 Mark III's were under the direction of the US Army for hauling their ambulance trains. The only modification needed to the engines was to reduce the width of the footsteps and to cut tow holes in the backing plates to suit the Southern Railway loading gauge, for the ambulance trains were stationed all over the south and southwest of England. So yes, there were B12s down on Southern Metals. The real life locomotive was built in 1921 and withdrawn in December 1957. 
8509, the original Hornby model's prototype, was built earlier, in 1913, and lasted until October 1948. Of course, the B-12s were classified 4P-3F, so it was not unusual to see them on fast freights, as portrayed here. I've always had a soft spot for these compact and elegant locomotives. What do you think of them? <laughs>